What's going on, you guys? Lit Man Tuck is coming back at you with another book review. This one is actually another one from Pocket FM. Excuse the mess in the background. I started making my videos too late. It is the summertime, and so when I, as I was making the videos, all the kids started waking up and coming downstairs and making all sorts of no, noise. So I have retreated to the bathroom. So you may hear some noises in the background, but I tried to minimize it as much as possible. So the story I want to talk about today is called Twice Upon a Time. And whenever you see the um, the names, like the name has something to do with this one, but sometimes whenever you see the covers on Pocket FM, they almost have nothing to do with the story. So you cannot judge a book by its cover. But I'm going to go ahead and read the intro real quick. I think this is a good one. I've been having fun with it so far. So twice upon a time, a 21st century assassin named Lucy Allen finds herself transmigrated into the body of a simple girl with no magical powers. Could this be her long-awaited opportunity to mend her ways, or is this the true test of her abilities about to begin? And so, in that story, she's uh, transmigrated into the body of another girl, and the girl had no no powers. And so, the world that she was transported to, um, you had to have powers. If you if you were of a, a rich family and you didn't have powers, they basically called you trash. And so, she's an assassin. She has the background of assassins. And she's transmutated, transmigrated into the body of a very weak person. And this person ended up being killed because she was beaten to death by, uh, by a group of people who thought she was trash. And so she wakes up in this body and she's going about her business. But the thing is, everybody thinks she's weak, but she's actually an assassin uh, at heart. And so I had, I love stories like the, like this. Uh, one of the stories that it reminds me of is um, The Legend of the Archmages is a great book. And this exact same thing happens. But anyway, she has no power, so she's going about her business. And people are still trying to bully her, but she's actually giving them the business now. And the thing is, she is actually a he in the story. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but she wears a disguise to make herself look like a, a young boy for whatever reason. But um, during the book, like I said, people are trying to bully her, but then she's giving them some serious ass whoopings throughout the book. Um, and... Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much, so if you don't want it to get spoiled, you go ahead and turn it off right now. But she also finds out that she actually does have powers, but she was poisoned when she was a very young child, and she found some poison marks on her, and she was able to put a, put together a recipe to unlock her powers, and she's probably going to be one of the strongest out there. So, real good book, man. I'm I'm having fun with the story right now, so if you're looking around on Pocket FM, this is one you can check out twice upon a time.